so many games. We have 32 countries qualifying for the tournament. We have the group stage. We then get down to, eventually, we get down to the final four. We, it, there are so many games that are being played here right now. So there is so much opportunity for injury here. Isn't it fair to say that, again, you, you play so many games in such a small span of time that no matter even if you're really well conditioned, the body will catch up eventually and the injuries will start to mount in certain areas. I think you're, you're perfectly right. Soccer is, is, is a sport that's played year round also. So keep in mind a lot of these players, they just came from the, the Champions League. They came from Europe, playing in Europe or playing in Brazil or different parts of the world. So this has been going on all year long and these players have to deal with these kind of um, repetitive overuse type injuries on top of the, the acute stuff that you actually see in the tournament. We, we don't really understand that sometimes, do we? Because as not players, the, the cumulative effect of this because the game moves at such a pace Definitely. and because you're moving and you're going to so many games and you're coming in and out, these might be the best conditioned athletes in the world. Soccer players definitely are very, very well conditioned. They have to go out. They don't get to sub. I mean, they do get to sub, but it's not like other sports where they, they're able to shift in and out. It's certainly not like baseball where you get to go rest between innings. Um, but yeah, I think soccer players are definitely among the best of the best.